Hello everyone, welcome to the session in which we are discussing the chapter of Math 2, the most awaited chapter called Trigonometry. In this chapter, the objective that we are covering today is we will be able to recall the trigonometric ratios of sine, cos and tan. So if you can remember in class 9, we have already studied about sine theta, cos theta and tan theta. In this objective, we are going to quickly recall that. So let's begin by some recall questions given in our textbook. Now you know that sine theta is opposite side by hypotenuse, cos theta is adjacent side by hypotenuse and tan theta is opposite side by adjacent side. And all these happens in a right angled triangle. So the concept of trigonometry is only applicable for a right angled triangle and if the formula for all these has been given, let's try to pause the video and fill up these blanks given over here using AB, AC, etc. as the names. Okay, coming back, let's quickly check the answers. Sin theta, opposite side. For that, let's mark the adjacent, opposite and hypotenuse on the tri triangle. If this is the angle theta, you know the one which is next to it, jo theta se sata hua angle hota hai, wo hota hai adjacent side. Jo uske opposite hota hai, if you can see if theta is here, the opposite side is here. So that is called the opposite side. And the longest side you already know is the hypotenuse. So using these, let's quickly fill up this blanks which have been given for sin theta, tan theta and cos theta. Okay, let's see the answers now. Sin theta is AB upon AC. Cos theta is BC which is the adjacent side upon hypotenuse AC. And tan theta is opposite side AB divided by the adjacent side BC. So this is the quick revision of sin, cos and tan. There were some more relations that we studied last year. Let's go through them as well. In every case, please pause the video, write down all the questions. If you have your textbook, you can fill these up in your textbook itself. Now, what is sine theta upon cos theta? If you can recall, sine theta upon cos theta is nothing but tan theta. Sine theta is cos 90 minus how much? Try to recall. Sin theta is cos 90 minus theta itself, which means sin 30 is equal to cos 60. Sin 45 is equal to sin 45. If you remember, we have done these kind of questions earlier. Similarly, cos theta is sin 90 minus theta. And a special relationship that tan follows is tan theta multiplied by tan 90 minus theta is nothing but 1. So this is the relation between tan theta and tan 90 minus theta. Matlab tan 30 into tan 60 is 1. Okay. We also studied one more identity that sin square theta plus cos square theta is nothing but 1. So these were a few things that we needed to recall. Moving ahead. If you recall, we had studied something about trigonometric ratios for specific values of theta. Matlab theta ki specific values 30, 60, ye sab hume given hai. In ke liye hume values put karni hai. Now to put the values, what you need to remember is the table. So if you have the table, great. If not, let's quickly look at the table. If you are drawing this table in your notebook, please leave some space below. So make sure you are drawing this table in your fresh page. Leave some space below because iske baad itna hi bada ek aur table iske niche aane wala hai. When we study the next objective, we will be adding more things in the table. So right now, draw this table in your notebook. I pause the video over here. And make sure that iske niche ke jaga aap khali de. Now coming back to our question. We now have the table. We can fill up all the values easily. So sin 30 is, as you can check, the value is half. Cos 30, you can check the value is root 3 by 2. Tan 30 is nothing but 1 by root 3. Sin 60 is root 3 by 2. Cos 45 is 1 by root 2. And tan 45 is nothing but 1. Over here you can see tan 30 is equal to sin 60. 
because cos theta is equal to sin 90 minus theta. Remember? So these were a few things that we studied last year. This is the foundation of what we are going to study new in trigonometry. Thank you so much everyone. Have a nice day.